Hi, in today's lesson, we're going to continue working with exponential growth. Um, so specifically, we're going to talk about growth and decay. All right, so on this very first page, we're going to talk about exponential growth. And then there's, of course, some information up here at the top for you to read and a couple of examples. So you want to pause the video and read through that information now. Okay, so all of the examples on this page are examples, like we said, of exponential growth. So let's look at a problem together. So number one talks about population. The population of the United States has been increasing at an average annual rate of 0.91%. If the population of the United States was about 284 million, 905 thousand four hundred in the year 2001 predict the U.S. population in the year 2005. Okay so first we know it is growth because it talks about how the population is increasing so that's exponential growth. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write down my formula for exponential growth and that formula is right here. Y equals C times 1 plus R in parentheses to the T power. That C is the initial amount. R is your rate of change, but in decimal form. And T is the amount of time. Okay, so, oops, sorry about that. So, let's come down here. Okay, and we're going to write that down. So, Y equals C times 1 plus R to the t power. So the c is our initial amount, and in this case, our population. So that's that 284,905,400. Okay. Uh, times, I think I'm going to run out of room here. 1 plus r. So my rate is 0.91%. That is not written as a decimal, it's written as a percentage. So that's going to be 0 0.0091. Okay. 0.0091. All to the t power, t is the amount of time. So that uh, initial population that was given to us was for the year 2001. If we want to know what it's going to be in 2005, 2005 is four years ahead of 2001. So this is going to be all to the fourth power. Let me see if I can move this. Yes, so we can see it a little bit better. How about right there? Okay. All right. Now I'm actually just going to type all of that into my calculator. I'm going to use my graphing calculator. So I'm going to type 284,000. Nine, I'm sorry, 284,905,400 times 1 plus 0 0.0091 all to the fourth power. Okay, and it says predict the population. So this is what I get. I'm going to just copy that number down. Uh, and then, so this is my prediction. Uh, you can't have point, you can't have four tenths of a person. So I would actually just round that off to the nearest whole number. So 0.5. Okay, so that would be the prediction uh, of the U.S. population in 2005. 295,418,375. Okay, so that's number one. All right, you're basically going to do the same thing. Um, you're going to do two, three, and four. Uh, be careful about the investments because when you're looking at the investment ones, they've got a more specific formula that they used up there in the second example uh, that you want to work on. Okay, so you want to pause the video and complete problems two, three, and four. Then come back and check over your answers. Welcome back. 
So hopefully you did well with these problems. I'm hoping that you looked back at the notes that I asked or the examples I asked you to read at the beginning of this video. So here's the work for number two and you can also see the work for number four. I uh, remember that two and four are talking about money so you wanted to round your answers off to the nearest cent which is to the nearest hundredth. So go ahead and pause the video make the necessary corrections for problems two and four. Okay, and then here is the uh, work and the solution for problem three. Go ahead and pause the video, make the necessary corrections there. Great. So these are all examples of exponential growth. So on the next page, we have examples of exponential decay. So again, you're going to want to pause the video and read through this information. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now we're going to move on and I'm going to do a couple with you. So let's look at the very first one. Number one is talking about population. The population of Bulgaria has been decreasing at an annual rate of 1.3%. If the population of Bulgaria was about 7,797,000 in the year 2000, predict its population in the year 2010. So the first we're going to write down the formula for exponential decay. And we know this is an exponential decay problem because the population is decreasing, right? So uh, that formula is that right here, y equals c times 1 minus r to the t power. So I'm going to write that down, y equals c times 1 minus r to the t power. So the c is our initial amount, in this case the initial population. So that's that 7,797,000. One minus r is my rate written as a decimal, so my rate is 1.3%. As a decimal, though, that would be 0 0.013. And then the amount of time. So we know that that, that population we have written down is for the year 2000. And you're trying to find what's the population in 2010 or 10 years later. So my T is going to be a 10. So I'm going to type this into my calculator and get the S, the population. So 7,797,000 times 1 minus 0 0.013 all to the tenth power. And again, this is talking about population, so we're talking about people. So we're going to round this to the nearest whole number, okay? So we don't want any numbers behind my, our decimal point. Okay, so that population would be, let's close this out, sorry about that, that population would be about 6,840,677. Okay, so now it's your turn. So you're going to do problems two, three, and four. And remember, if they're, whenever they're talking about money, you want to round to the nearest cent unless you are told otherwise, okay? So pause the video and complete those problems, then come back and we'll check. Welcome back. So hopefully number two didn't give you too much trouble. And for number four, you might have had a little bit of trouble at first because you had to use the formula for exponential decay twice. Um, but you'll, you'll want to pause the video and check over that. Number three, the one about the half-life, I actually didn't do an exponential uh, decay formula for that one. I just reasoned that one in my head, and you can read over um, how I got my information there. So pause the video and make the necessary corrections to your work. Great. If you have questions about any of these problems, as usual, please uh, see me for additional help. Once you've submitted this, uh, go ahead and start on your independent practice. Good luck!